In this lecture, we'll talk about what is obstart function and we're also going to understand how to use this function in PHP. So what is obstart function? The obstart function is used to remember everything that you would normally be outputted, but you haven't done anything with that outputted data yet. Now let me show you a very simple example to understand this obstart function. For example, let's say if I create here two statement, so I'm going to create here two print statement, then if you execute this statement, it's going to print both the statement on the document. But what if you want to control this print statement? You can use obstart function to control printed data or the buffer data. You can control this data by using obstart function. Let's say if I call here obstart function, then in this function, I'm going to have both these print statement. So we can control the printed data. The obstart function always call before any HTML element. So we're going to start this with the obstart function. So what I want to do is, I just want to print only this first print statement. I don't want to print this second statement. So I'm going to just add here, just start this first statement. I'm going to call a simple function ob and flush. Now this function is going to close the latest buffering. And then I'm going to just call the ob start again. And just out of that, I'm going to call a function ob and clean. Now this function, it's going to end the buffer session. Now, if you try to execute this statement, it's going to just print this first statement. It's not going to print this second statement. Because as you can notice here, using this statement, we just clean the buffer. Now, what if you want to print the second print statement instead of this first? I want to display the second print statement instead of this first print statement. I'm going to just simply grab this ob and clean function, grab it, and I'm going to paste that right here. So this function is going to end this ob start session. And whatever we have inside this ob start function is going to clean. And then I'm going to start a new buffer and print this value. So if you try to execute this statement, it's going to print this second print statement. Now, if you feel that this example is more complicated, then let me just remove these functions. Now, if you try to execute this file, it's going to print both this statement. Now, what I want, I want to just print this second statement. I don't want to print this first statement, but the situation is I can't remove this first line, but still I want to print this second statement. How do I do that? Using the simple ob start function, you can control your output data or you can say your buffer data. So whatever is printed on the document is going to store in this ob start. I'm going to simply call a function here ob and flush. So this is going to close the latest buffering and then I'm going to close this session of this ob start function. So I'm going to call a new function ob and clean. So this function is going to end this ob start. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to just start this ob start session again by using ob start function. And now in this function, I have this statement. Now, let's take one more simple example to understand how this ob start function works. So, for example, let's say if I create here a new function callback and I'm going to pass argument to this function. I'm going to pass argument buffer. And in this function, I'm going to just return str to uppercase function and I'm going to pass this argument as a parameter to this function. Now, just out of that, I'm going to simply call ob start to store the buffer and then call this function. Now, what I'm going to do is using this statement, I want to convert all the text into uppercase letter. So whatever I put down here, just start this ob start function will convert it into uppercase letter. For example, if I just add here simple HTML5 snippet and in the body section, if I just create h1 heading tag with some text, and when I try to execute this HTML, I'm going to get the result something like this. I'm going to get all these text to uppercase letters. When you try to print anything, it's going to store in this ob start function. This function is going to call this function and convert your data into uppercase letter and then echo your data on the document. So basically using ob start, you can control the output data in PHP script. So whenever you want to control your output data or you can say the buffer data, you can use the ob start function. So this is how you can use the ob start function in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.